Hi everyone, this is a recorded demo where we see how to deploy a LTE network inside of the R2Lab wireless testbed facility uh, using the Open Air Interface uh, software stack. So, for starters, we are going to run a dedicated script that is going to essentially do everything we need to do. Uh, and that is designed for everyone to get started, provided, of course, that you have uh, registered and booked a slice on the testbed before you can proceed. So let me show you how it looks like from the R2Lab uh, website. You, go, you have a page where you can see the live status of the testbed, and you see all the little dots here are the nodes that we are currently loading with the uh, appropriate images in order to set up our experiments. So uh, the setup itself is essentially about selecting uh, three specific nodes that are going to play key roles in the setup, plus of course the um, uh, commercial phone that is inside the room. This is an anechoic chamber, so we, we would not be able to reach anything from the outside. So the phone, of course, is inside. So the first thing we, we do is to create a uh, wired network so that the infrastructure can be deployed. Then we are selecting a few nodes to host the different pieces of the LTE network. So HSS stands for Home Subscriber Service. Uh, EPC is the Evolved Packet Core, so this will be the gateway to the outside world. And this particular node, 23, will play the role of the base station, the E-node B, so the, the actual uh, active radio part of the network. Uh, of course, you can see the d uh, small orange logos which depict the nodes that have uh, USRP devices so we can do software defined radio and of course this is what we are uh, taking advantage of. Then uh, using the commercial phone we will create a radio link bit, uh, so that the, the phone actually gets a connection and from that point we will be able to uh, get outside connectivity and we will uh, measure active uh, bandwidth using um, standard measurement tools. Uh, in addition to that, we will set up two extra nodes where we can uh, run spectrum analyzers. So let's go to the, to the test bed. And uh, you can see that two of the nodes already have uh, started to come up and uh, the script has already started to configure them. Um, in the meanwhile, we will uh, start to run, uh, for example, spectrum analyzers to see the, the two sides of the link. So we're going to see the uplink and the downlink. Uh, of course, everything takes a little while because we need to load software on the USRP uh, boards and this, in every case, takes a little bit of time. So, you can see uh, this is the 2.68 gigabytes, gigabits uh, band and we also need to see the other half of the of the way, which is on the 2.56. Uh, and uh, on this view here, I created using screen sharing a, a view to the Mac that controls the phone. So this essentially, this gives me a view of the phone and I can see that right now it is in airplane mode. So the script will turn it on as soon as everything is, is ready. And uh, this shouldn't shouldn't last too long now. We are still loading the uh, the code on, on, on the base station USRP. Um, you can find the code for this script in this particular Git repo. It's R2Lab Demos OAI Skype and the script itself is named OAI Scenario.py. It's, it's here. It essentially takes advantage of these two libraries so you can uh, check it out using 
the references in the readme so if you click on this link you will get to this page where you can find uh, detailed information on the, on the libraries that we are taking reference of. so in the meanwhile you can see that the node has been that the phone has been turned on and he has the 4g uh, connectivity here so i can now uh, run this um, speed test commercial application and uh, you can see at this point that the spectrum analyzer will show us some activity on the download link which is this is the first one that is getting tested and then similarly of course we will see the uh, other one show up uh, right so starting from these pieces you can very easily come up with your own script you could take one of the nodes and send a scrambling signal, measure the impact. You can do essentially whatever you want with this particular setup. Uh, we are working on a way that all the images which are used here that uh, expose the open eye interface software to the testbed users, uh, we will, will be uh, updated every week then this is not yet the case but this is the objective so that we would have really the very last version of open air interface for uh, anybody to play with and uh, we hope that you will enjoy this uh, demo and uh, hope to see you soon on the testbed thank you